Good morning, a beautiful morning to you all out there. Hope you're good, because I am good. Yes, thank God it's Friday, TGIF, that is our say it here. In Nigeria, from this side, I say thank God it's Friday. And to all our Muslim brothers and sisters, you know, I always have a message for you. Yes, I say Mubarak, happy Mubarak to you today, Juma Mubarak to you today. And to those that are fasting, to all Muslim brothers and sisters that are fasting as well, it's almost coming to an end and I thank God for the strength he has bestowed on you and for you who have started it, I pray you all will bring it to a perfect end, inshallah. Yes, amen. <laughs> all right, yes, again, I said thank God it's Friday. I'm your host on Peace Talk today, Teresa Adeyeme. Quite some time though, but <laughs> it's due to some other things. Yes, all right, this morning I have my three top stories as usual and I'll be starting with the press, the former Nigerian president. Or passenger narrates scary ordeal as Ethiopian airline plane escapes crash. And some people are even saying it's a public stunt, but I believe it's not a publicity stunt because if it's a publicity stunt, I don't think Ethiopian will like their name to be dragged on this because it's not as if it's a good news, though. All right, from our president, Lucia Gwabasenja, spoken on the Ethiopian airline flight that nearly crashed on Wednesday at the Mutala. Mohammed International Airport in Lagos, the Boeing 777-300 with over 390 people on board landed on toward attempt to meet strong winds and heavy rain. Obasanjo was returning from a meeting on implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement AFCFTA, which ended on Tuesday in Addis Ababa, said he remained calm and read papers. In his words, I was on Ethiopian airline, rain just came down heavily. The pilot thought he could land and he landed. He touched down, but I think he took a swift decision that he had to take off again. So he took off. If he did not, I think he probably would have overrun the runway. He then apologized and said he would try to land again. He tried again and we landed safely and we all clapped. End of story. He touched the ground, then he took off and apologized and landed again at about 12.30. We spent just about 10 minutes in the air before we landed again. While it all happened, this is the most interesting aspect of it. I think we should all learn a lesson from this. I was reading my papers. One man who was next to me said, Oh God, you don't worry. I said, if I worry, what will I do? If you are on a plane and you have a situation like this, why should you worry? I left everything in the hands of God. Respect to you, sir. I love that so much. You know, when you panicked, you just need to calm down and just let God take control. Because what would be 
will be. No one can change it and no one can stop it. Whatever is meant to be, is meant to be. All right, now our second top story of the week is Appeal Court sacks Ned Umoko as PDP senator elect. And a lot of people have been running now to this because they're saying due to his newly wedded marriage or this dude is newly wedded wife maybe she has brought bad luck to him but i don't believe in that you know africans we have our own shenanigans we have a lot of things that we we'll say all right the court of appeal sitting in abuja tells the nullified election of ned umoko as a senator representing delta north senatorial district the court in his ruling said the case instituted at the abuja division of the federal high court which culminated in the recognition of umoko as the winner of the election by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, was wrongly fired. The appellate court said that the matter ought to have been brought to at the lower court before the expiration of 14 days from the time of the incident that occasioned the suit. Beside it was the failure of the applicant at the lower court to file the case before the expiration of 14 days shows that the case had become statute bad and the lower court lacked jurisdiction to handle the case in the first place. Beside, in his words, as of the time the matter was instituted at the Federal High Court, the case was started bad, we set aside the decision of the Federal High Court and strike out the case. It will be recalled that INEC had withdrawn the certificate of return it issued to Umoko's challenger, Senator Peter Umoboshi, following the Federal High Court's decision. And now with the appeal court verdict, Senator Umoboshi will now be recognized as a senator elect for the district. Also suffice is to say that Umoko and Umabushi are both of the PDP and that contested for the ticket of the party in the primaries. It later won the senatorial election in the district with Umabushi as his candidate. However, after the first high court ruling, INEC withdrew the certificate issued to Umabushi and presented same to Umoko a decision that presently is invalidated given the current appeal court ruling. Hmm. And our uh, final story, because time is not a friend of mine this morning, I don't know, time is always a friend of mine, but our final top three story of the week is Governor Makede in a showdown with Argon over the solution of LG LGS. An advice has gone to members of the Association of Local Government of Nigeria, Argon, a year state chapter to disregard Governor Shehi Makede's directive dissolving the cancers. Ayodeji Abbas Alesh Noye, the Algon chairman in the state, said at news conference in Ibadu yesterday that the governor's action was illegal. <laughs> it started on a high note, I'm telling you. He said on Ibadu High Court, the purported dissolution is illegal, undemocratic, violation of rule of law, of law and concept of a subsisting court injunction, he said. He said on Ibadu High Court, presided over by Justice A. A. Adiremi, and on May 6th, granted an injunction restraining the state governor and other government agencies from dissolving the councils and LCDAs. The Argon chairman said that the order was given in suit number 1347, 2019, having there is also a recent Supreme Court judgment against such acts of illegality by governors. <laughs> And again, to just cut the long story short, we urge all duly elected council and LCDA chairmen and councillors to remain calm and peaceful in the face of the provocation and assault on constitutional democracy. We call on the security agencies to be alert and to provide full security to all chairmen and council secretaries, he said. That's nine. Our three top stories of the week are telling you. <laughs> the governor started on a high note. We are just starting. We are see, I know we're going to see. Look, now we are a new government now. And even Lagos, we got our own new governance here, and it just started on a brilliant note. But trust me, I know people keep saying that there's going to be war in Nigeria, but I believe there's not going to be war. With the way Christians pray, and the way Muslims pray and fast, there can never be war in this country. I keep saying that. All right, I have two guests on my show this morning, and first I'll be bringing in my first guest on set. After this break, don't go nowhere, don't touch that dial. I will be back.
Lailatul Kodri is here again. MITV Star FM 101.5 in a usual tradition marks this year's Lailatul Kodri Night of Majesty this Friday, May 31st, 2019 from 10 p.m. till dawn on MITV Ground, Alausa, Ikeja, Lagos. Come with your family and also to enjoy the blessings of this majestic night. Lailatul Kodri Night of abundant portion of blessings, the night the first portion of Holy Quran was revealed, the night in which the angels and spirits came down by their Lord's leave, the night that is more than a thousand nights, the night all the saints are forgiven, a night that is full of blessings, the most blessed night of the year, it is the night of mercy from your Lord. So, the part of this blessed night with your family, Date once again is this Friday, May 31st, 2019, from 10 p.m. till dawn at MITV, Alausa, Ikeja, Lagos. Be there and be blessed. <laughs> Welcome back, PDI Amber Bless is tonight. It's going to be happening live here in MITV. You just have to be there because it's time to pray to the Almighty. Alrighty, yes, my guest on the show this morning is, 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 is the one and only Steve Aquos on my show. Woo! Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, you're welcome. It's good to be here. Yes, you're welcome to the show. It's been a while. It's been a while. Quite some time. Yeah, yeah. How have you been? Well, I've been good. You know. All right. Lagos as a whole, down. Okay. You just have to be on your tools. And, it does, yeah. You know what you're doing out there. So mm. it's good to be here. Mm. Yeah. Thanks. I can tell you that it's good to be here. <laughs> All right. In case you don't know who Steve Abbas is, he's the organizer of the Noli Fans of What? Yeah, Noli Fans Achievement Award. Achievement of World. Noli Fans Achievement of World. And yeah. this morning we'll be talking about some awards, some awards craze in the Nigerian entertainment because there's a lot going on now in the Nigerian entertainment when it comes to awards. Award, yeah. We have a lot of awards. Mm -hmm. If you go here now, you have this award, this award, this award. Everybody wants to come up with an Every award. Tom, Dick and Harry. Even Peach Talk with us is coming up with our award. We are coming out with our, with our own award. <laughs> so, <laughs> to, all, to, all, to all our guests and to people, it's always called Achievement Award. Yeah. And it's good. So, in case you don't know, people are watching, just be given. All right, now looking at awards in Nigeria now, what can you say? Everyone keeps coming up with their own idea of a word. What do you think? What can you say about it? We have a lot of awards. Yeah. I, I think a lot I, of recognition I, awards. Yeah, I, I Even think Amaka is planning to come out with her own award. Amaka idea? Yeah, I oh, don't do anything. <laughs> I, I think um, um, the whole idea about um, awards should be um, celebrating excellence. Okay. People that have done well. And there should not be any condition attached to it. Because when it becomes conditional, it loses its value. So when you are putting up an award, you want to honor people, the first thing you consider is, why are you doing this? Okay. Are you doing it because of the monetary gain? Mm, I'm still coming to that. Yes, or you want to go out of it to celebrate people. So the mindset matters. Why people put up such awards, it goes a long way. So I'm not to speak for them, but I can only speak for the one I organize. Okay. But I think... Uh, I want you to speak from your own perspective. Yeah, from my own perspective. Mm. Uh, I want you to be a, a thing of honor, merit. People who deserve it, you give, you give them without any condition attached to it. Mm. But what's the situation that people bribe in their way now to get awards? In those days, when I was growing up, if you can be nominated yeah. or you get an award, yeah. you feel so glad, yeah. you feel so cool. Yeah. But you see these days, people, because they've paid for the award, when they even get the award, they don't even give a speech. Mm. Mm. They just give the award and they just like... What I, I've seen it's, it's a lot bad. like that, and I would say, oh, this one, this one paid for the award. It is bad. It's so, bad. It's but bad. there's this mentality in Nigeria now that people that are doing the award, they are doing it because of the money. Yeah, 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 yeah. How true is that? Yeah. Since you are one of the organizers of an achievement award in Nigeria. Um, if you, if you, 
if you uh, have that uh, thought, if that's your position, mm. I would say you're not wrong because I have witnessed situations like that where people say you have to pay for an award. I remember I wanted to nominate someone because the person approached me that, okay, if I have any nominee, I said, okay, there are a couple of individuals doing well in their chosen field. I said, okay, let me give you some names. And the person told me, how much are they going to pay? As in, I said, pay? I said, I don't know about that too. And the person gave me a figure that they have to pay. I said, no, we can't do it that way. So we opted out of it. So I have witnessed situations like that where people say, you just have to pay. Okay. If you don't pay, no award. Mm -hmm. But I think it is too bad. It's too bad. It's, it's barbaric. It's not what is what we're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. It's not what's supposed to be. People should learn to appreciate excellence. If you have done well, you give them what they deserve. Mm -hmm. And if they want to appreciate, they go ahead to appreciate. appreciate it. It's not like a gun to, the, to your head whereby if you don't give me something, I won't give you an award. It's, okay. it's not ideal. But if I may ask this question, how do you generate money? How do you generate funds? Well, it, because it, it's money, you know. Yeah, it, in all honesty, it's not really been easy. Ah. I think this is the, the fourth edition of the award. Of the award, okay. And um, thank God, um, God has been sustaining the award. Mm. God has been sustaining the award. I think um, how I started is different from where I am now. Oh, uh, where I started was a first in a remote village. Wow. And I had a Jibola Dabo who came to wow. honor the occasion. I had the bling, I mean, all that. Who came, wow. even the uh, club of children and others, wow. uh, Alima, and they came. Wow. Wow. But today, now we're doing it at the now. so wow. it's just been God. And um, coupled with some um, individuals and um, other loved ones, loved ones who okay. can just like, Oh, I love what you're doing, okay. I believe in you, okay. okay, whatever support I give to you, I will also do, I will it. do it. Yes, okay. and um, I also need to officially appreciate this uh, individual who has always been there that I manage. Okay. I, um, I think a Hillis. Oh, uh, yeah, a Hillis. Um, okay. a Hillis. I think I've been managing her for about uh, four years, four to okay. five years, and she has always been part of every of my program. Okay. I organized too. Okay. And a couple with her, so, so friends too. So, who and who are we? Is it a secret? The mm, people, no, we, are to, the people yeah, we, we are recognizing this year, we are appreciating this year. Okay, it's we? Not, it's not a secret. I think um, the press is already out. Um, we have the likes of uh, Mike is here. Oh. We have the likes of Ibilio Caro. Oh. We have the likes of Nuela. Mm. Nuela. 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 Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have the likes of uh, Osh Bib. Oh. Um, okay. We have the likes of Ehilis. Uh, okay. And um, which one? I hope I'm not missing anyone again. Um, we have um, Pastor Bello. Okay. We have um, Obobosa, Michael. Okay. okay. Uh, these are individuals that are going well in their wow. respective field. Okay. Yeah, and I, I'm sure they are watching the program because I also I also inform them too. Okay. And we have some students too. We have category for students. Oh. Yeah, there are some students that uh, they did well for mathematics, English language and physics and chemistry. How will you know that? Yeah, we conducted the tests. Okay. Yeah, we did uh, an academic screening test. Screening test. So oh. each of the schools represent okay. sent a representative. Oh. And we're able to get that in the vacuum. Mm. We have for English, mm. math language, mathematics, and um, physics and chemistry. So they're all going to be there to receive the award. The award. Yeah. Does the award comes with a figure? Does it goes up with a figure? Well. <laughs> <laughs> There's no figure. I'm still looking for that award though. Yeah, there's no figure award. <laughs> I wasn't getting the award. I, I even used, and um, I seen to mention Tessie too. Yeah, Tessie, she's one of our recipients. Um, so, <laughs> don't, don't say that yet. How <laughs> shouldn't I say it? It's not a secret, okay? Uh -huh. Tessie, I didn't hear me. So it's not a secret now. So I should be even be asking you whether it comes, whether you've been asked to what pay. Ah uh, no, not at all. Uh, uh, not at all. Not at and you've been in your feet for over many years. Yes, and yes. Watching your TV mm. and doing what you know how to, how do, to best. do best. So yeah. based on what you've done, I think you deserve an award. Oh, and that's just one. Oh. And I've never really met you before to discuss yeah, that's that. That's it. You're right. So, You're so right. Yeah. So that's the way it works. Mm. That's a very good one, though. Yeah. So yeah. all right, what should we be expecting on that day? Well. The program is coming up on Sunday. On Sunday, Sunday, yeah. Sunday this coming Sunday, is June, mm -hmm. and um, it's going to be a whole lot. We have La Laugh Doctor, who is on, 
standby. Yeah, standby. Yeah, we have us people. Look at crack our ribs. I'm telling you, we have tattoo. Mm. We have even the founder of CMC2 wants to like he will shake the whole place. Mm, I trust him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so a couple, a whole lot of individuals, they oh. are all set for this award. award. Yeah, it's a whole lot of things. People are coming from far. So expect music, dance, comedy. Music, yeah, music, mm. music. We have music presentations, mm. and comedy, mm. and um, other paparazzi. Mm. That's a very good one. All right, so let's quickly round up the segment because we have another guest in the house. So, what would you like to tell the people before you go? Just look into that camera. Well, tell them something. Um, my beloved, first I need to uh, congratulate the newly elected governor of Lagos State, mm. His Excellency Babajide uh, Sawudu. A.K.A. Selib. Selib. Mm -hmm. I, I congratulate <laughs> you on your achievements, mm -hmm. what you've done so far. Mm. And um, to all our Nigerians, I want to thank you for your love, your concern for what you've been doing over the years. And I don't want you to give up in your respective field. However things turn out, don't give up. Okay, there's only light in the tunnel. Thank you, God bless you. All right, thank you very much. And again, after this break, I'll be back with my next guest on site. Don't go anywhere. And this one <laughs> is a talker, bringing a talkative on set now. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. I'll be back. TV Star FM 101.5 in a usual tradition marks this year's Lailatu Kodri Night of Majesty this Friday, May 31st, 2019, from 10 p.m. till dawn on MITV Ground, Alausa, Ikeja, Lagos. Come with your family and also to enjoy the blessings of this majestic night. Lailatu Kodri night of abundant portion of blessings the night the first portion of holy quran was revealed the night in which the angels and spirits came down by their lord's leave the night that is more than a thousand nights the night all the sins are forgiven a night that is full of blessings the most blessed night of the year it is the night of mercy from your lord so the part of this blessed night with your family Tight once again is this Friday, May 31st, 2019, from 10 p.m. till dawn at MITV, Alausa, Ikeja, Lagos. Be there and be blessed. <laughs> Is on, on, my next guest on set is the one and only ambassador Cornel Udovia, founder and publicist, PR of CMC. If you don't know CMC Group, eh, eh, that group is the oldest group in Africa right now. If you don't belong to that group, just send your number so they can add you up to the group because they have a lot of people in that group. I'm telling you, the who's those that matters in the industry, in the media, 
everywhere, name it, I'm telling you, they're in this group, both in Africa, not just Nigeria alone, in Africa, international, national, name it, whatever you call it. I'm not hyping them, though. Let's hear from the horses now. You're welcome to the show, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> good morning, Nigerian. Good morning, Africa. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> all right, I hope all the CMC group members are watching this right now. You have your uh, presidents on this hot seat. I would say hot seat, though, is, a, is just, a, a, just a little bit of hot, but that's really hot, you know. Let me say warm, let me use the word warm. This warm seat. <laughs> all right, Ambassador, it's so good to have you. Thank you very much. You don't say for this game. Maybe today. Maybe today. Maybe You've today. been in the game for how long now? Well, uh, precisely, uh, we started in 2003, and from 2003, uh, nothing really happened because the first person that we actually worked with, as at that time, was uh, the world famous uh, Jim Ike. Jim Ike, okay. Yes, that was in 2003. We worked with Jim Ike from 2003 to 2007. From 2007, we also did not want to move away from Nollywood. We worked with in the Edo, uh, a Nollywood actress, a producer, the essay to the governor of Akwa Ibom State. From the Edo, we move on to uh, Tonto DK. Tonto DK. Uh, one of the most, one of the most controversial. Uh, Actress right now. Actress in Nigeria, mm. and of course one of the one of the people that when you came across to her, you know she's a very very nice person. Mm. Then from there, the likes of Face, Clarence Chukura, Uncle Jide Kosoko, uh, Yemi Black, Noel and Jibibo, Mike Izurie, Idris Abdul Karim. And, and a whole lot of things. A whole lot of things. There are so much. I cannot even count them because that much. Hmm. <laughs> now, looking back at that journey to now, what can you say? Well, it is, uh, it is very good to, for you to see people that, uh, uh, that you watch their growth from nowhere to somewhere. To somewhere. From grass because, to grass. Yes, from grass to grass. Because most of them, when they started that time, uh, they were, they did not, there was no structure, hmm. no structure on ground. Everybody were just doing trial by error. It would have a situation whereby an artist actually manage himself, uh, uh, clothe himself, no, he does everything in totality. There was no structure, no manager, no publicist, no media consultant, hmm. everything the artist model up on his own. But when we came in, we look at how the industry uh, was going and we discovered that the industry is going to be a very big industry if, if, if the government provides an enabling environment. And don't forget, the government did not have the industry because the industry was just on its own. The government did not have the industry. So, but when we came in, we have to try to see how we can, uh, I mean, structure the industry by making sure that the artists are actually given a platform to showcase their talents and uh, to, I mean, to be themselves. So it's a very long journey. Very, very long Very journey. long one. <laughs> and that long journey has gotten you and how many awards? I cannot count because there are, there are so many. But You've lost uh, count. I cannot count. But if you want to guess, can you just guess? At least? I think the last one that we received from uh, from African Watch. Okay. Uh, That's Mike Columbus? Yes. Okay. The last one that we received from African Watch mm. as the most influential entertainment company of the year was uh, about two months ago. Mm. At so that was the last one. I think that was one of the like I think that was about uh, one twenty nine or so. <laughs> Ambassador, you've got one hundred twenty nine awards. <laughs> what are we talking about? What are we talking about? One hundred twenty nine awards. Where do you store those awards? How do you keep them? One hundred twenty nine and still counting. 
Because I know you've been nominated for another one again. <laughs> Is it that you yourself are even confused? Or what are the 29 awards? Well, uh, they were asking where do I store the award. You come to the office, we have a gallery that we store all the awards. Wow. You come to my house, I have where we store the awards. And what I wanted to ask me, which I think I should be very happy, is how do you feel getting this award? That is the question you're supposed to ask me. Cool, we are jumping. <coughs> because we are not, we're not getting, we've not got to the last stage, we're still going to CMC. Before we now come back there. <laughs> so I was just wondering when you said you won 120, you've got 129 awards. Wow. Both, both locally. I know, and internationally. Yes. Wow. Yes. Recognition yes. award. Yes. All right, third so group CMC. CMC group. What does it really stand for? Because that group has brought a lot of award. The group has gotten a lot of award as well. Right. CMC group. What does it stand for? Well, um, CMC gladiators of repute. Mm. Because I don't want people to. I don't want the public to be confused okay. when you mention CMC. Yes, we have a lot of CMCs, true. Yes, we, we have, have a lot of, yeah. of CMC. Yeah. But ours is CMC gladiators of repute. Yes. What is the meaning of that CMC? The, the CMC, the CMC uh, means Cornell Media Consult. Okay, Cornell Media Consult. Yes. So what we came up, we were looking at how, when you mention CMC, mention the founder you look at for example now when you mention when you mention profession magazine mm. you mention Tele Momodo, Tele Momodo, yeah. you mention the song <coughs> you mention the uh, Oji mm. you mention MITB mm. you mention Alaji Mori mm. you mention the uh, you mention the uh, Encomia magazine mm. you mention Kunle Bakari mm. you mention City People mm. you mention Shea Kende so mm. who were looking at a name that can also say continue to promote our own personal brand. So that was how CMC Gladiators of Repeat came about. And it was founded in 2000 and, uh, 2012 with myself and some other few friends who have the same vision, the same mission, and of course the same objective. Why do we have to found it? We founded it to actually showcase the upcoming talent who doesn't have any platform to showcase the veterans who has been neglected to showcase to let the public understand that the youth of this country are not lazy the youth of this country have a lot of potential but the only problem they are having is they lack good leaders they lack good environment they lack Good uh, infrastructure to actually bring out their best. And I want to tell you, from that time the CMC Gladiators was founded till now, we have been able to discover so many talents, so many talents from music to fashion to comedy to, to media to dance and of course to, to, to arts. We have done a whole lot to, as our own way. Because we don't believe in sitting down and start to blame the government. We believe that we can do it despite the fact that the government will not really provide an enabling environment. So we believe that we have to do it ourselves and allow God to take control. Take control. All right, that's a very good one. Time is not a friend of ours this morning, but let's quickly talk about the CMC award before we wrap up. The CMC award is coming up when? Well, uh, we are going to have the fourth edition on the 25th of. Uh, August. August this year? Yes. So the likes of when who should we be expecting? Well, before I think I, well, I think people that should actually mention people that are coming, I, think I want to use this medium to thank MITV because MITV has been one of our main supporters of the award. We have to thank MITV for always supporting us, Star FM for always supporting us. We have to thank DC uh, Bakiaro. The police, one of the police detectives in Nigeria. We have to thank uh, uh, S. Bengozi Bridge and so many other people that have been making sure that the award is given. I mean, that's so much. So, come Sunday, the 5th of August, we are going to do it again in Lagos. I 
Chronicles. Grace, inshallah. All right, now, Ambassador, I want you to look at that camera and the first. I want you to say something to the people as an award winning ambassador, winning over 129 awards. How exactly you feel and your encouragement, I want you words of encouragement to people, to publicists, they struggle to get there. Well, first and foremost, I want to say congratulations to my mentor, uh, His Excellency, the Governor of uh, Aqua Ibom States, His Excellency, Mr. Udon Emmanuel, for winning the second time. And also to say congratulations to my mentor, too, uh, the newly elected Governor of Lagos State, Baba Jide Congratulations. You started on a very good note. I, I know, I know when the house, when Collision hosted you, I'm talking about the government of Lagos State, when Collision hosted you at the Grand House uh, reception some few months back, I asked a question which would give me a very good answer, that what is your blueprint for entertainment? And you promised the world that entertainment is going to take the center uh, space in your government. This is the time for us to do it together and I, I believe that when you support us from CMC Gladiators, we are going to also support you to take entertainment to the next level. If you are a youth, don't go into crime. Don't go into crime. Crime doesn't pay. Don't do yahoo yahoo. Use your hand. Use your sense to, to do good things. Don't involve in kidnapping. Don't involve in crime. Don't involve in. Don't be. Don't be lazy. Just do something, and by the special grace of God, God will always support and make you to become somebody. That is my message. All right, Ambassador Cornell. Thanks very much. This was a good one. Having you on Pitch Talk with Tessie. I've been chasing you long time ago. Let me today. Let me today. Let me today. Let me today. Oh, we don't this. <laughs> All right, I'm your host again, Tessie, to Risa Adeyemi, but I prefer to call me Tessie. Join me same time again next week on Friday, 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Pitched up with Tessie, we say it the way it is. Be good to yourself and have a beautiful weekend. Bye-bye. Barakat is -bye. FM 101.5 gives you the best of music, news, talk, entertainment and sports like never before. We give you incisive news every hour, quality music and sports all day round. Listen to the most entertaining, creative morning show on radio as Star FM gives you top newspaper review, headlines about politics, business, crime, events, and entertainment stories between 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. daily. Our midday show gives you classic, up-tempo, and contemporary upper music to start your day and get you energized between 10 to 12 noon daily. We serve it fresh. fresh. Now, take your lunch with us on Launch Our launch Show our between show. 12 noon and 2 p.m. as we pack you with good mix of music loaded with interactive live chart, comedy, game shows, and current events. Our world of sports on Star FM comes on daily at the 5 o'clock hour, 6 o'clock hour, and 10 o'clock hour daily on Star. Our evening belt showcase a mix of urban music, oldies laced with big jokes, talent on shows, and relationships. You don't want to miss is the PM Group. PM Group. PM Group. 
round up your day with us on Body and Soul, 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. Daily with the very best of rhythm and blues, cool music to take you to Wonderland. Join us daily as we give you the very best of music, news, sports, talk, and all-round entertainment. Star FM 101.5, entertaining you all the time. Star FM, your favorite radio station. Star FM on DSTV 869.